All right, guys, these are the current settings that I'm using in season 15 for Apex Legends. Uh, we kind of switched it up off of the last one that we did, but f all the gameplay and everything else is going to be pretty much the same. It's just the controller and ALC uh, settings are different. So quickly over gameplay, all this is pretty standard. Compact stacking, uh, obituaries on minimap off, off. You want weapon cycle off, so then that way when your mag is empty, you choose to reload instead of the gun auto auto uh, swapping. Uh, so you want that. Auto sprint on because we're on controller. Everything else is disabled or off for 2D. Uh, communication filter is fine. And then the reticle and laser sights we have at particular colors, it doesn't really matter. We're not on mouse and key. We are on controller. But let's check out the video settings. Full screen, 1920. Uh, 110 FOV. If you're not playing on this, you are hurting yourself. I know some people play at like 107 or like 104 or something. You're just hurting yourself without the extra view. Turn FOV ability scaling off because using ultimates and certain characters' abilities like Bloodhound will automatically put you into FOV 110. So if you're not on that, you're not going to be used to it. So turn it off. Sprint view shake minimal, of course. We want this off. I can't believe I had that on. And then I have... If you want this to be lower like this, you're going to get more frames. So do that. Everything else is either lower or off. Audio, 100%. I got 80% incoming chat. Sound effects at 100. And then all these, you can just kind of your own preference. But into the controller. We have button layout, which is default. We don't change off that because we have a controller with paddles. Okay. If you don't have paddles, then I definitely recommend using button, uh, button jumper. This is the go-to one. If you don't, that way you can keep your um, thumbs on the joysticks. Okay. Uh, crouch, I have it on hold for a little bit more movement as a controller player. Otherwise, toggle's okay, but you will get a lot more movement and be able to bunny hop if you have this on hold. Aim also on hold. Survival button off. If you want to spin your heirloom, do it. Otherwise, keep this on for just quick uh, heat shields. Trigger denzos, I have had this on none for a long time, but I found default to be just a little bit better. Uh, the only reason is, is because we don't want any like desk pops to be happening that could give away our position or anything if you accidentally nudge the trigger. So default dead zones are pretty solid. Menu cursor speed, this is how fast your cursor moves. This affects how fast you're gonna be able to armor swap in Apex Legends. So uh, this is what I have it on. It's actually very quick. I should probably go up one more in the middle. If you wanna copy mine, feel free, but I would probably start right at the end of this bar here and then increase as you need to. Uh, and then if you aren't going to be using ALCs, like I am a 4-3 classic response curve sensitivity, movement dead zone on small and everything else off is pretty solid. So into ALCs, guys, we have this on. This gives me a lot more custom customization for my settings, which is just great. Uh, dead zones at five, outer threshold at two. Lower the dead zone, the, the a little bit more input and finer control you're going to have for micro adjustments, which is important. Response curve is going to be the same thing. Now, I have it on 7. 7 is going to be the exact classic response curve feeling. So if you didn't have ALCs on and you're playing classic response curve, 7 is the start. Okay, Anything lower than 7, you're going to get twitchy. You're going to be leaning more towards linear. But I have it on 7. Per optic settings, I have off. Now, for my yaw on pitch speed and turning extra yaw on just your looking, I have this really high. I want to be able to look left and right really quickly. Pitch speed, I have it at 140. This allows me to have really good up and down aim, especially because so many players jump, which is good. Um, and then extra yaw and extra, sp uh, extra uh, pitch speed. What this means is, is that when my joystick is all the way maxed to left, right, up, or down, that... 50% extra right there, or not 50%, but that 50, when it reaches the max, it's gonna increase even more, okay? So instead of me reaching a certain limit and being stuck, it's gonna increase its speed when I'm doing that. So that that's what allows me when you guys see me play to turn so fast on controller um, without it being too twitchy to where I can't tell what's going on. Uh, you never need ramp up delay or time. Now down to ADS yaw and pitch speed, which I think a lot of you guys uh, are really looking for here. So 110 is your standard for um, sensitivity. So if you had no AL, uh, ALCs, 110 is about a four. So I have it on 130, so I'm a little bit higher. 140 starts at five. There's a great conversion chart um, that you can use, but 140 starts the five um sensitivity i have it at 130 so it's just under that i think that's really really nice now ads pitch speed my up and down i have this this high because i want to be able to 
track a horizon queuing up or a team queuing up. So when I'm ADSing, 100 for me works to where I can perfectly track a horizon team queuing up because horizon is all over the place. She is one of the main legends being used right now. So if you can't beam on a horizon queue, you're suffering. You're putting your team at such horrible risk. Now, the same thing on turning extra yaw on pitch, the same thing applies as the ones up here. So it just gives me a little bit more speed if I'm pushing it all the way to the limit. But 130 over 100 works really, really well for me. Uh, if you guys want, you can you know pause the video, pause the stream, whatever you guys need to to copy these if you'd like and just let me know how they are. But this works really, really good. These settings haven't changed too much. I did used to have this all the way down to 280 and or 240 for a while. 240 is going to be about your three, uh, three and a half look sensitivity. If you go up to 280, that's a four, but I like 350. I want to be able to turn. Okay. I want to be able to turn, get away from stuff and make people miss. And then of course, down here, if you are on controller, as you should be target, uh, and melee combat session, this is your aim assist. So make sure those are on. Don't be a weirdo. But that's going to do it for my uh, settings uh, video for Apex Legend Season 15, guys. Um, if you guys enjoy the settings, make sure to drop a like, do all that good stuff. Comment down below what your settings are if you're rocking ALCs or not. Um, and as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.